Matt Stell, Philadelphia here. Philadelphia in the house. Uh, it's Raz on the radio. It's the 2021 CMA coverage, and it's brought to you by DHY Motorsports, revved up gift ideas for motorsports enthusiasts. Now, we've never met. You you came up in one of these weird years where you never really got to do the radio shows at radio right. stations, which a lot of people do. Right. You feel right. Do you feel like you missed out on a little something when people talk about radio tour? You go, yeah, that was crazy, man. Going out all <laughs> night and getting up for the morning show, that stunk. Yeah, I um, that is true. I didn't get to do uh, my radio tour. I, you're right. I Mine wasn't very extensive. However, I spent uh, several years before all that in a, in a van and trailer and a truck and trailer. I actually had a black van and a white trailer that I – I called it the Panda Express nice. and I drove, I drove that thing millions of miles early morning, late nights and everything. So I did get my van time, uh, definitely for sure. But there are some things I missed out on. Uh, but, um, uh, but I definitely, uh, definitely spent my time in the van. Prayed for you came out. It was uh, independent record. And I remember we were talking about it here and we're like, yeah, it's a good song. Ah, what the heck? Good music always rises to the top and, and way to just, you handled radio you handled your business you did it by yourself with uh, some folks that you hired and you actually muscled your way onto the radio which <laughs> what a great way to introduce yourself to the world well you know it it um it really starts and finishes you know with people believe in the music you know that is a huge a huge thing and believe in the music from someone they never heard before um but i definitely had the benefit of uh, some great people in my corner uh, even when I was independent, my management, and then and then later my label and uh, and team that that way, you know, um, I was very lucky to have all the support that I that I did once the kind of get the ball got rolling. Um, so, but it, at the end of the day, you know, it's a, a song changed my life, and it's uh, you know it's folks like y'all that believed in uh, in something new, and that's why we get to sit here and hang out today, and uh, and I really appreciate it. You, you know, I feel. I feel like I'm not even smart enough to do this interview with your background. Like your education is phenomenal. Oh, that's 100% not the case. No, I do. Cause I was like, I'm a division two slippery rock university kid. And I'm looking over your bio here. And it's like, guy went to Harvard. Like could have went to Ivy league. Like that's such a great, it, it, it must be a crazy thing to walk away from. Like your, your parents must've thought you were nuts. Yeah. Well, the, the thing is though, is I got accepted to a program. But I would have, I mean, I'm almost positive I would have failed out like, <laughs> like two, two weeks after syllabus day, I, I'm sure I would have failed out. So, uh, so, so there, um, the good part about never going is it, it doesn't, you know, got accepted sounds better than flunked out, uh, which is probably what would have, what would have happened you. definitely. But, uh, I hear you. but yeah, man, you know, luckily I, I did have a decision to make at one point and, um, and, uh, you know, I moved to Nashville to write songs and. I got the opportunity to do that just right as I was uh, contemplating leaving. And so I decided to stick it out and I'm glad I did. Cause here we are chopping it up on a, on a Monday virtually in Nashville and, yes, uh, and Philly. So I got to bring this up because you're now starting to trend on social media. You realize <laughs> your life is going to change. Right. Uh, the Bradshaws have been posting, and apparently there's a show coming out where you meet uh, the quarterback himself, Mr. Terry Bradshaw. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to reveal anything that's going to happen on TV, but uh, that's going to be a different thing. You yeah, know, no. It's it, getting in there. Yeah, man. They're they're great folks. And, um, yeah, it was a kind of was a weird weird deal how, how we all met and kind of hung out for a weekend and, and, uh, and great people. And, um but yeah, I think the episode, I, I think that there's like two episodes or whatever that, uh, where I was on and, and, uh, running with the Bradshaw clan, I think it nice. aired like the last couple of weeks. So it was a lot of fun. And, uh, like I said, good people, good times, uh, a lot of cameras, but it was cool. So Rachel Bradshaw has been tweeting. There's a lot of rumors about you and her dating. I won't get into that, but here's what I want you to do. If Terry starts to pull you aside mm -hmm. and start talking to you about life, you just go. Mr. Bradshaw, you were a country music singer. Did you ever get a number one record? <laughs> yeah, I don't you think I'm a big I, hit. Yeah, he'd be like, "Yeah, I took some big hits when I was winning <laughs> Super Bowls for the Steelers." 
He said, I know all about big hits. So probably what he would say. <laughs> uh, he's a big country music fan though. So yeah, you, man, you got a sure. good, uh, you got good camaraderie there with, uh, with the old uh, ball player there. So for sure, man. Well, good stuff. Um, good luck. I, I can't wait to meet you. Uh, you're probably three inches taller than me. So there ain't too many folks. I'm six, four. So I'm looking down a lot of folks, but uh, you'd be one of the first ones I have to look up at, but yeah, uh, it'd be pretty cool. It'd be fun. Like, man, I, I actually hung out in Philly that. last uh, – I should have I should have hit you up and come by, but last playoffs when uh, Philly was playing Atlanta, I came up and uh, and watched the game uh, there in Philly. It was my first time to hang out. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, so Look, you Steph, were right, uh, folks. Yeah, you man. Seth right, Curry folks. is a – shout out to Seth Curry. He's a, he's a, he's a buddy of mine, and uh, he's uh, obviously an absolute – unbelievable one of the greatest shooters of all time and, and mm -hmm. a great dude so but hey, uh yeah man he's, for sure. is he a country music man man he he uh he he seems to uh i think so yeah yeah he, he likes some country music there and and uh like i said great dude love to watch that guy play so jimmy bucket see he likes some country music. yeah man jimmy bucket shouted me out a couple times Good. uh back because you know i'm still a big hoops head you know mm -hmm. he, that's my favorite thing so anytime uh anytime i can get some love from the hoops world is always you know that's uh that's a dream come true there you go well did you ever have any aspirations of playing yourself oh yeah i definitely did after college i uh I tried to – well, after college, I was kind of done with it. But I also got to play against some, like, NBA All-Stars when I was in school, uh, like in pro-am leagues and stuff. And it was like, that's a different thing. <laughs> like, they're, they're, I was I was all right, but they, they were a different thing. So, but it was yeah. fun. Could you imagine – like, did you ever see LeBron James play when he was in, in Cleveland when he was in high school? At, when he was I played at against LeBron James. Now, tell AAU. me, right? I played grown, against LeBron James at AAU. Oh, a grown, grown man. man, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Even at 17, you probably saw this. No, this guy's going all the way. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, it was for sure. You stuffed him, right? Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Good. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Matt Stell, right here on Philly's Country Station 92.5 X2. Good luck. Have fun CMA week. All right, thanks. Nice to meet you.